Hey guys, this is Emi from Androgchance.com and welcome back to my NBA betting model projections for today, Tuesday, November 28th. Uh, I will share all my projected numbers for all games. I will make comments uh, for these games. I decided for one qualified bet, although it is slightly below my criteria, uh, but uh, there is also some reasons to back them because with NBA, we, we always need to speculate a little bit with the lineups. Uh, this is the, the trickiest thing and uh, which makes NBA a little bit sharper and harder to beat uh, in the long run. Uh, in the less active season, when I was betting full NBA season, that was uh, uh, I, last year, I didn't make a lot of bets in NBA, but uh, the year be before uh, I made 13 units or 14 units uh, with RI more than 10%. So uh, I hope that at the end of the season, at least I make around 15 units or 10 units. It would be also great. Okay. Uh, before we go to projections, I, I, I will ask you a small favor. I already talked about this in my other video. Uh, YouTube channel has some strikes against me or I violated some community guidelines. I don't know, maybe I said something. Uh, maybe some someone reported me. Uh, I talk a lot, a lot of things. Uh, I just say what I think. Uh, I think uh, I'm not offensive, uh, but anyway, uh, I got some strikes, so I cannot even put the links below in the description uh, and uh, my videos are not that visible. So I have a little bit less views than I used to have uh, in the past, uh, 10 times less uh, each video. So if you can uh, like the video, of course, if you like it, uh, it would mean a lot. And if you can share with others, if you think they will also get some value or maybe share on social media, this would be an extra helpful for me. Uh, so uh, this is how you can support my comments, my videos, and I will try to uh, do my best to share these projections with you in the future as well, okay? Uh, so let's go to today's projections. But before we go to today's projections, uh, let's review yesterday's. This, this is maybe interesting. Uh, yesterday, those were my projections. There was no qualified bet, but if we can check um, the spreads, my projected spreads, bookmaker spreads, and then the final final result, okay? A lot of people think that we need to pick the correct result. This is not true, okay? The only game uh, is your projected numbers against bookmaker's number. Both can be completely wrong. The question is, who is less wrong, okay? who is less wrong. So if you find the discrepancy and if, uh, let's say that this is, uh, no, I, I, I will explain on a totals, okay? Let's say that we both, so let's say that my projected on this game is, I will, I will use extreme numbers, 500, and bookmaker's number would be uh, six, five, 650, okay? Let's say, okay. So as you see, I miss it completely bookmakers miss it completely, okay? Because the result would be 214. But I beat the market because I was less wrong. This is the game in sports betting. The game in sports betting is not predicting the correct result. The game in sports betting is just getting better numbers than the market. Make sense? Okay, so you need to be less wrong. Okay, this is the game because we can both make completely wrong numbers, but if you're better than the rest, you will make profit because you're not playing against the result or against uh, the final outcome. You're playing betting game against other bettors and bookmakers. Okay, uh, I think I think this is very important to understand. Okay, so I don't know what was here to whatever it was but this is uh, this example my numbers were completely close to bookmakers washington detroit the same it was uh the same the same numbers it it was within 1.5 difference the totals the same so we mo we both made a mistake as you see washington beat detroit uh lakers philadelphia i had the same numbers uh philadelphia beat lakers i don't know if lebron james anthony davis they played uh, I'm not sure if they didn't play. Uh, and if you have my betting model, you could reproject re this and then you got probably different numbers. Uh, New Orleans Pelicans, Utah Jazz, there was four point difference. I had Utah as a small uh, underdog value because there was four point difference. Utah beat Pelicans at the end. So that would be a good bet with four point difference. And then Denver Nuggets against Clippers. 
I had uh, Denver Nuggets plus two, Bookmakers plus 5.5. It was 3.5 difference and Denver beat Clippers. So uh, as you see, the those two bets or those two results or those two projections uh, were much more, were were correct uh, yesterday. Okay, uh, and let's go to today's projections. So Chicago Bulls, Boston Celtics, Milwaukee Bucks, and Miami Heat. Uh, those are just rough projections. Uh, I think Miami Heat. I think they're playing with uh, without whole starting five. Okay, so I, I would not even touch this game because I think they have four or five uh, players from the starting lineup as game time decisions. So this is pretty pretty tri tricky thing to be even involved, okay? Uh, then we have Atlanta Hawks against Cleveland. My numbers, bookmakers' numbers are basically the same. Charlotte, New York Knicks, uh, also the same numbers. Maybe I have projected a little bit higher number than bookmakers, okay? So I have 227.5, bookmakers 221, so small lean uh, with the over in this one. Uh, Toronto, Brooklyn, based on my projections, of course, you can also check the lineups, okay? Uh, because if you have my betting model, uh, then, of course, uh, you should always check the lineups and uh, reproject. This is why I create a tool for you so you can analyze your own games, right? Because when I make projections, usually in Europe, in different time zone, in the morning, maybe we can have a little bit different information at that time, but also the market represent uh, the lines at that moment, right? Uh, okay. Uh, Oklahoma, Minnesota, minus 0.5. Bookmakers minus 3.5. So based on my projection, small value with Oklahoma against Minnesota. Uh, three, three point difference. Uh, Houston, Dallas. Uh, there will be probably some lineup changes. And Golden State Warriors against Sacramento Kings. It is three point difference. I decided to go with Golden State. Uh, Sacramento, they had a couple of uh, questionable or game time decision players. Golden State Warriors, they will be with their full lineup. Plus, Draymond Green is coming back uh, from five-game suspension. Uh, so they are basically 100% in. I, I, didn't, I think I didn't see such team uh, that was complete uh, this year uh, without any injured players. At least this is uh, something I have right now, the information, right? So I will go with Golden State plus 2.5, although it is slightly below my criteria. I'm still looking for five point difference. Uh, and when you're selective, uh, of course, this is much better, but then you will go without bets for a couple of days. Uh, and uh, if you pay attention to details, such details, then you can also find some gems. If I reproject uh, maybe the lineups with uh, Sacramento Kings or the lineup with a couple of missing players, uh, then we also might get a little bit better value with Golden State. Both will be rested. I think both played on 24, 25th. Uh, I don't know. But I think they both have uh, uh, both had rest. Uh, and the Golden State plus 2.5 is at least close to be qualified. But I, I decided to, to go with them. Okay. Uh, so that's it for me today. And again, if you like the video, please like it, subscribe to the channel or share it with your friends if you think they will also get some value. And see you tomorrow.